great to be here with you all today. And Katie, thank you for such a kind introduction. Katie did amazing work when she was actually working for the previous governor, and I know she's doing a great job now that she is here with the Arkansas Hospitality Association. It is great to be here with this crowd. Even if I haven't had the chance to meet everybody here in the room, I've probably had the chance to visit one of your hotels, your restaurants, or certainly the town that you're from. That's because when you're running for governor and working on previous statewide campaigns for my dad and others, it gave me the chance to stop in basically every single town, big and small, all across the state of Arkansas. In fact, when I was a kid and my dad was running for office, diners were usually one of the best chances for him to meet voters. Some people think that was just because he liked to find uh, the off the beaten path places to, to find hidden gems and best restaurants in Arkansas, but it's really because for a political campaign, you have a built-in crowd if you go around a meal time. And uh, we learned very quickly, if you can't turn people out, show up during meal time and you have uh, voters that can't go anywhere. When he eventually became governor and our family moved from Texarkana, one of our very first nights here in Little Rock was actually spent in a hotel room. It wasn't all the, the glamour, though, that you might think. I remember wanting to make a very special first entrance into the Little Rock social scene at my dad's inauguration. Unfortunately for me, my mom had other ideas. I'll never forget, nor will I ever forgive, the outfit that my mom chose for me for that first special moment. It was a blue one-piece suit complete with shorts and shoulder pads. And yes, it's as bad as it sounds. Even in the mid-90s, that was out of style. 13-year-old me was mortified, but it turned out not to make a dent in my Little Rock social life, and thankfully, I have loved living in Little Rock ever since. A big part of what makes Little Rock and cities and towns, frankly, all across our state so special is our hospitality industry and the people who make it up. If you want to break the ice with an Arkansan, just ask them about their favorite roadside joint or about their favorite Arkansas brewery or who they ran into in the lobby of the Capitol Hotel. In my administration, we're working hard to make sure that the hospitality industry is thriving and growing for generations to come. Just today, we announced that tourism tax revenue a very good measure of industry spending is up nearly 9% since this time last year. Tourism employment reached a record high earlier this year, and our goal is to grow it even more. Alongside my husband, Brian, we launched the Natural State Initiative to grow our tourism industry and invite even more people, Arkansans and out-of-staters alike, to explore every part of our great state. Already that group has guided new legislation to improve facilities at state parks, cut red tape in park maintenance, invest in Main Street revitalization, and invite more entrepreneurs into our outdoor economy. Our goal is to double the size of our tourism industry in the next decade. And while I know that is a huge target, I firmly believe not only do we have the people and the natural beauty, we have the capacity to get the job done. My administration is also tackling the ongoing problems facing both the hospitality industry and every other business in our state. We know that workforce is a huge issue. So I launched the workforce cabinet in my early days of the administration to bring an all of government approach to the issue. We know taxes are way too high. So we've permanently cut income taxes by $250 million and corporate taxes by $58 million to make our state more competitive. We know that we all want safer streets and a more educated workforce. So we passed the PROTECT Act and Arkansas Learns to bring long overdue reforms to both of these issues. And we're working hard to pave the way for Arkansas business owners. But I'm under absolutely no illusion that government can somehow ma wave a magic wand and get the job done on our own. It takes each one of you to make our economy grow, to make our businesses and our state better and stronger. And that's why I'm here today, is because I believe in the work you're doing. We want to be a great partner from the state. We want to make sure that your industries continue to thrive because that's when our state wins. 
And I know that working together, we can not only double our tourism industry, but we can have a great partnership that lifts every single Arkansan up. Thank you so much for the work that you do. Thank you for the investment that you make into our state. And thank you for giving us the best story possible to tell about the best state in the country. We appreciate what you're doing and thank you for letting us play a quick and small part in your event today. Thanks so much.